hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is katrina if you are returning welcome back i was supposed to post this vlog a little while ago and i didn't get a chance to but this is my first vlog of the new year um so enjoy and i just want to wish everyone a happy new year um a healthy one a productive one a safe one um just enjoy the year um, if you have any goals you want to reach, just crush them, and I'm rooting for everyone, and enjoy the vlog. Really think nobody does it better. I love the way that you put it together. Oh, oh you fancy, huh? Oh, you Good morning guys just stopping by to wish everyone a happy new year and this is my first vlog of the new year 2022 today is friday i did just get back in the house from physical therapy and let me tell you i already can't walk so getting in and out this uber with snow on the ground it's not 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 for me but luckily I do not have to go outside besides physical therapy and doctor's appointments. Um, so yeah, it did snow last night. I will insert some clips here. So my refrigerator is screwed up. It was warm, everything was warm. So I have to have this temporary fridge. And the fridge, the whole top was a refrigerator, the bottom was a freezer. Now I have this little freezer. Mm. And this little fridge. Not gonna work, but we'll see. Hey guys, here I follow a visit for my foot. Today is, what's today? Tuesday. I had physical therapy this morning and now I'm just here waiting for the doctor for my follow up. And I will update you guys soon. Hopefully we get some good news today. This is the most I can move my foot. Update you guys soon. First things first, we have to apply bio oil on the scar to work on the healing of the scar on the outside. Next, I moisturize the foot with Aquaphor Healing Ointment Advanced Therapy. Next, we have um, some compression socks. I brought like this whole pack of socks. They're like individually wrapped by pairs. And I got this from Amazon. I can link, I can um, put post the link below, but it came with different types of compression socks and I have to wear compression socks. So next up, compression socks. Compression sock is on. As you can see, my foot is still turned in towards the right. Um, but we're working on that and my foot is also not flat yet uh, just to show you a little bit so we work it on like getting it this way and we have to get it back up like it still like doesn't 
do that on its own yet. Um, my big toe was still pretty stiff. Um, I was told it could be like some scar tissue and swelling every here, here, and here. So that's like the problems right now. But we're working on the mobility, and I am going to go put my cam boot on now. Be right back. Okay, so um, got some pants on here. I got my um, what do you call these things? My compression socks that go up to my knees, basically. Um, Maybe with my feet next to each other, you can get a better view. Uh, my left foot is significantly smaller than my right foot. Um, but the muscles will come back and it will regain its weight and everything like that. Its strength. So this is the cam walker boot here. Um, so for a while now, I was not able to put any pressure on my foot when I had this on. Um, now I got some restrictions lifted. So... My doctor and my physical therapist wants me to try to apply pressure and I am supposed to be trying to get this foot active and in motion. Um, the foot is very weak. The muscles are weak. The nerves are weak. I have scar tissue. Sorry if I'm talking fast, guys. But um, yeah, so all of that is kind of making it hard for me to start to gain, regain mobility here. But I'm trying. I'm trying really, really hard. Um... And I'm going to show you guys some of what I've been doing in physical therapy and what I got the okay to do at home. So stay tuned, guys. Um, and just please keep in mind, I have not walked since my first surgery, September 27th. If you haven't already seen my uh, videos related to my surgeries, I'll add them in so you guys can click the link to watch them. But I did have surgery September 27th of 2021, as well as November 2nd of 2021. So this is me now starting to walk after at least three months of not walking at all. Not using this foot, not using this leg. So it's, again, very weak. But we're going to get back to it, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, so again, this is the Cam Walker boot here. And I am going to put it on. Ugh. So again, my foot is in this position right now. Of course, we don't walk with our foot like this. So I have to flatten my foot to get in the boot. So all I really do um, is like push it up oh, like that. And again, you can see the difference when it drops. But I'm going to push it up as best I can in the walking position. So my foot is as flat as it could be. And I take the boot. And I try to keep holding on to this foot. I wipe this down and spray it with disinfectant as well. So it's okay if I touch the bottom. Oh, I'm push my foot in there. Again, it does hurt. But okay, so as you can see, I got the boot on. Um, I put the straps as tight as they can go. They go all the way across now. Guys, so I did end up pushing my foot all the way back. Your foot or the inside of the boot should not be hanging out like that in the front. Um, try to get your heel as close to the back of the boot as you can. So just excuse the way this looks. I did eventually fix it. Being that I lost weight in my foot or muscles or whatever. So this is the boot on. And I'm not going to um, do too much because it's my foot swells a lot and it's very painful when it swells. But again, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've been doing. And as far as us trying to wean me off the crutches, because I'm extremely dependent of the crutches. And I even have like bruises under my arms from the crutches. So we're working on me losing one crutch at least. I'm going to put on a sneaker that I do not wear outside. And if I was to put on something I wear outside, I would just like spray with some disinfectant on the bottom or something like that. But yeah, stay tuned. This is another um, option if you feel like the sneaker to boot ratio is very uneven um, you can purchase one of these it's like well this one is I guess the brand is called even up but I guess it's like a maybe it's called a shoe lift or sneaker lift or something but um yeah you basically it comes with this and it comes with a second one depending on the height you need and you put your foot in this with your sneaker on and it's supposed to like even out, you know, the like 
see if your knees are un as e are even and then like it's not well you probably can't tell from what i'm showing you but yeah it's supposed to be that um they also have something called hill lifts that you can put in your boot that will like help you put less pressure on the hill um my doc i had i was wearing those with my doctor now um moved me up to taking them out so i don't have them in right now and i'm not going to use this okay so when getting up i was told i have to be sure both my feet are on the ground i have a habit of course from not putting applying pressure to my left foot i have a habit of ramming all the pressure into my right foot ramming this from the ground and just placing this foot but that's not gonna work that's not how i'm gonna learn how to walk again so i have to put equal pressure or at least try to put equal pressure in both the left and right foot and leg when getting up Another thing I do to try to put pressure is I grab my crutches and I basically try to way from right to left or left to right, whichever one, basically trying to put pressure on that left foot. Okay, so basically um, the method I learned, I'm supposed to be doing crutch, boot, right, crutch, boot, right, crutch, boot, right. I'm supposed to have the crutch on the opposite side of the injury. So this is the injured foot, this is the good foot, this is the crutch. So I'm supposed to basically do um, boot crutch. Um, try to keep your knee straight um, and basically I have to go on the toes of my right foot to try to increase the pressure on my left foot as long as your knee is straight like don't bend your knee this knee should be straight this should be like this and basically you're like squeezing the muscle here and you're lifting so I was instructed to do 10 sets of three So yeah, that was just um, my routine of what I do as far as when I get up in the morning and I have to um, put my boot on. The bio oil is really good for the scar. Um, hopefully it'll make the scarring less visible on the outside. Um, and if I see the bio oil isn't working after a while, I'll definitely switch to something else. But most importantly is um, I have to keep my foot moisturized. Being that my foot was in a cast for so long, my foot gets like very, very dry very easily, this left foot. Um, but that was pretty much my routine. I probably won't really do any more updates um, on my surgery. Hopefully the next couple of weeks or so I'll be walking. Um, but this was just basically like a, a three month update on the first surgery and a two month update on the second surgery. So this is where we are now. And I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Thank you for the well wishes. It's greatly appreciated. Um, as I always, always, always say, it could be better. It could be worse. So I just have to be grateful. I still have a leg. I still have a foot. I have a roof over my head, food on the table, all that good stuff. So I can't sit here and be down on myself. And yeah, so I'm just excited to finish this journey with physical therapy, with my doctor, and just get back, like I said, to my life, take my, my walks that I enjoy, go for my long drives and go shopping in the stores because that's what I love to do. But yeah, um, again, thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you want to be notified every time I post, just hit the notification bell down below. 
and um i will talk to you guys soon